Hey guys, let me tell you about a really cool website called Kaushi. Kaushi is the first CFTC regulated exchange that is dedicated to trading on the outcome of future events from inflation to Fed rates to unemployment. You can place trades on various future events, including economic indicators, weather patterns, awards, as well as political and legislative outcomes. The platform enables users to trade on yes or no questions with contracts priced based on the market's estimated probability of an event occurring. In October 2024, Kaushi received approval to reintroduce election markets, allowing users to wager on political outcomes such as congressional control and presidential elections. You know what that means, guys. We're going to go ahead and fire hard on Trump. $250. Let's see what it'll do. Kaushi has already facilitated over $1 billion in trades. The election markets are now live to trade. You can sign up using my link in the description, and the first 500 traders who deposit $50 will get a free $20 credit. Kaushi.com slash Cartier. The contract pricing works like this. Before the event resolution, contracts trade between $0 and $1, representing the market's probability of the event occurring. For instance, if a yes contract is trading at $0.75, cents, it implies a 75% chance that the market believes the event will happen. Your profit or loss depends on the price at which you bought or sold the contract versus its final payout value. If you buy a contract for $0.60 cents and the event occurs, making your contract worth $1, your profit is $0.40 cents per contract. Conversely, if you sell a contract you previously bought at a higher price before the event resolves, you might lock in a profit or minimize a loss. Kaushi is an excellent app, guys. I really think you will like it. We love it. We're going on there and firing hard on Trump. We think this election is big, and we really think the Trump will win. Use code Cartier. We're here because we're fighting for a democracy. <laughs> And understand the difference here. Understand the difference here. Moving forward. Moving forward. Understand the difference here. What we are looking at is a difference in this election. Let's move forward and see where we are. Because on the issue, for example, of freedom of choice. For example. She tries so hard to act black. That's, That's all, all right. right. That's okay. That's you okay, know what? Let me is. say something about it. Seems like she's never getting respected at her rallies to I, me. I saw her get interrupted again at a rally. If you can't get control of your rally, then you're not respected. Any Trump rally that I've seen on the internet or some that I've been to, maybe one. I've been to like one or two, man. He, this seems like when I hear him say like, all right, I'm being serious. Everybody be quiet. Cool. Everybody should quiet. Everybody at the rally respects him. So if you can't get people at your rally respecting you, I don't think you could be the president. Were they period. like the uh, Gaza protesters? Yeah, that's the, happened at the, before. At the, at the, at the no, her no, recent they one. Said this was no, at her recent one, it was Gaza it, protesters. No, it was the one in Houston. It was Gaza pro protesters. Uh, no, the one in Houston. She was getting booed because Beyonce, Trump Beyonce support. didn't uh, perform. But at the uh, recent rally, like today or whenever that was, it was Gaza protesters. Why oh. every group is protesting at her event? Well, you know. Somebody Just, said Jesus is Lord. She got on them. Somebody said I still don't know if that's what she meant. No, that's what that somebody yelled out Jesus is Lord, and she said you were at the wrong rally. Yeah. Smaller one down the street, and all right, that's all right. That's that. Dude. She got bored. Hey. She's not gonna win. If you doing that in America, like, come on. I just, I just don't understand how the Democrat Party has fully convinced a lot of Americans that their rights are under attack and that Trump is just this huge hey, evil being. You gotta realize these people believe that men could be women over yeah, there. Yeah, it's yeah. just at that point you can't, you can't even argue that with. You can't argue with them. I, I just think it's very interesting how they take That's everything true. Trump says. And they spin it and tell people how to interpret it, how to feel. When the sitting president calls half of America garbage, they take that and justify it. It's absolutely insane. And it's a, it's, it's a double standard in the media. Former President Trump also rode around in a garbage truck to call attention to President Biden's comments about his supporters and their rhetoric. Um, are you concerned that President Biden's comments might undermine your own messaging that you want to be a president for all Americans? Well, I've addressed how I feel about the, the, those comments. One, that the president uh, explained what he meant. But two, I do not believe, and, and I will speak for myself, 
um, that we should ever criticize people based on who they vote for. You know what's so funny? Nazi bro? rally. We called it a Nazi we, rally. Taj, earlier we saw, uh, we were fishing and we saw this lady and she was dressed up like for Halloween. She was back of trash? Yeah. yeah. She had a MAGA hat on. That's, <laughs> That's hard. And she was talking That's to us and she thought like we were going to, you know, she don't, obviously don't know who we are. And she was like, the way she was talking to us, she thought we were going to be upset. We were like, nah. We was like, we like your hat. We was like, no, no, no. She was like, oh, no, no, no. She was shocked. <laughs> Her husband was messed up. He said, oh, he's he's going, I see some niggas again. support Trump. <laughs> I'm like, gonna we, were sit, we were sitting on top of, or no, on top of, we was like trying to do the fishing pose on the charge, leading on the charge, playing music. And was like, I, we looked like some niggas. So that was definitely a... Uh, Peep in the scene. Yeah. <laughs> did y'all did y'all catch anything? Nah. nah it yeah, got too nah. dark. Not today, but we will tomorrow. Get up As he and his supporters grab onto that language, though, from President Biden, you're not at all concerned that that might undermine your messaging. I am very clear that in this election, what the American people want most yeah. is to know that I have a plan, that we have a plan to bring down the cost of living and invest in American families, invest in small businesses, invest in our economy. I am proud that I have the support of leading economists in our nation who recognize that I actually have a specific plan and that it will strengthen America's economy. He has very little of a plan besides giving tax breaks to the richest people and his plan, whatever it may be, will actually weaken our I've economy. <sighs> You know, she's a very interesting person. She is, she hammers on them, them talking points. That like, script, she's a professional script reader. She knows how to stick reader. to that script. Oh, I'm Boy, just, she it leaves that me script, she, she can't do it. I said on uh, X once, I was like, everything she does is scripted. And she's somebody, on autopilot. Somebody replied and was like, it's better to be scripted than say gibberish like Trump. I said, these people are so brainwashed. Trump gets himself in trouble because he's not scripted. I just don't understand when, when did everyone get so soft? Like, what happened to telling jokes? Like, you can't tell jokes. You can't do anything. You're walking on eggshells in America. Right? <laughs> yo, I did not see it. <laughs> hey, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> he quoted that. <laughs> what did he say? Yeah, he posted good. a picture of himself young with long hair. He's like, I still look good. Mars. He might be real. You know, we cake. should pull up his comments today. You see where he said no intelligent, strong women support Trump? It's oh. a lot of women make videos about it. Oh, yeah. He upset a lot of people. There are some people who thrive under pressure and... There are some people who crack under pressure. She's a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> and the more pressure Kamala, oh, he said that. the more like, pressure yeah. Kamala has, the more you see it happening. No, she's, she's cracking. She's a cracker. <laughs> All right, bro. What's wrong he with means, that one, bro? What's wrong with that? He's like a cracker. Like, no. I know, but I, you know, pressure. I know, but you know, they nah, gonna find bro. a way to spin no that bit. It's no way they gonna spin. It's gonna be interesting yeah, how they, they spin it. But how? I ain't gonna Not lie as though. much as like anything else. But they just spin. Spin it into what? The is the black the black That's and gold. That's like the N word for white people. <laughs> the black and gold mega hat not tough though. Yeah, that shit is tough. I ain't gonna lie. They'll try to say uh, it'll be interesting. They was able to, to spin up Joe it's Biden no and say they these, these people was trash. You don't think they can spin them? Oh, well, that was a great wow. Everybody noticed they, that wasn't. They didn't do good at that. That was a They didn't. That was, yeah. You don't think they're gonna say no? Nah, they try. That was Donald good. Trump calls Kamala white. Don't don't recognize her actual race as a black woman. Head They're line. not gonna do all that. They just been yeah. called a cracker. We know what he meant, and it was funny at the same time. Hey, we always know what he meant, and guess what? Yeah, they true. find a way to. That is true, but nah. I mean, you can do some with black jobs. You can't do nothing with cracker. You could. Uh, you black think jobs comment was ridiculous. Running for president, a president is a black job. The black jobs comment. He was, called her a cracker. That was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> they can find all. He called her a cracker. I, nah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. That was that did. was one of the greatest reaches of all time. What did he mean by that? Let's not be freaking dumb. Bloodbath was the, one of the greatest. No, that was the most. It, reach. It, see what I'm saying? That's why. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. They take everything he says out of context, and then they they interpret it in the way they want it to be interpreted to, and they tell the audience how to feel, and people are programmed by that crap. That's what I'm saying. You don't think crack. You Y'all really think Hitler? Cracker and Bloodbath? Y'all don't think That's Cracker gonna, he gonna, they gonna find some No, nah, bro, stop with the Cracker stuff, bro. Stop, bro. bro. Just stop, with bro. these people, bro. with these people, to I think they could make anything. Hey, we were looking right through this shit. It was easy to do. That's bro. us. We ain't no crazy. Hey. We just looked at it. Common sense, brother. Hey, Common boys, sense. they believe boys can be girls. And the more pressure Kamala, <laughs> the more pressure Kamala has. The more you see it happening. No, she's cracking. She's a cracker. She's a bad person because anybody that lies like that, knowing that it's a lie, just put it out. 
just have to tell you because you have to understand it. When you see it, at least this way you know it. You know, a lot of people say, sir, don't go down in the gutter with her. I said, well, how will people know she's lying if I don't say the truth, right? Am I right? <laughs> she says it. She's but being a candidate is nothing compared to the pressure of being president itself. Because hey. I've done both. If she can't handle going on The View, where she made a horrible mistake, you know the mistake she made. She can't think of anything she'd do different from Biden. That, would, that should cost her 75% of the votes and the 25% <laughs> that vote for her, they're not the smartest people in the world. <laughs> she can't think of anything she'd do essentially different from crooked Joe Biden. Do you know that 325,000 young children were killed or are sex slaves or slaves right now Whoa. who came through this horrible open border? Whoa. Three, think of what that means. Many, many stadiums full of the biggest stadium and many stadiums. 325,000 <laughs> children are right now, dead, never to be seen by their parents again, or no, sex slaves insane. or slaves. You know what's crazy? That's what Tim uh, And they're missing, Ballard and they'll probably me. be never seen again. That's what Tim Ballard said at the RNC. That's extremely that's sad. That's, that's crazy. a whole, yeah, that is a whole football stadium. That's no, two that's, of them. That's it's, it's crazy because he, like, broke it down how it happens. He said they come here with the wristbands. Remember we saw the little girl with the wristband at the border? Yeah. Come here with the wristbands. They say, I'm supposed to go to this address. Go to the address, get traffic, disappear forever. That's crazy. We've literally seen this in real life. Don't we have the video of the little girl we saw on our channel? Yeah, nah. coming out the water? Or? I don't think it's on the... Oh, maybe on the... I think he might have posted it. I don't know. Who knows? On the live. Senators who abused women and children. And we are fighting for democracy. And that's all right. That's all right. Democracy can be complicated, but we believe in democracy and the right of everyone to have their voices heard. <laughs> baby Kamali is a nigga, bro. It be it complicated, but it ain't but gonna we be on camera. Democracy. <laughs> <laughs> it is, baby. I just hope, man. Oh, I shit. hope people see through this. Oh, man, man. that bit old. Oh, that will. Why oh. you keep saying this? Like you think Kamala gonna win, bro? Boy, Can we just watch this? In the water. Day one, what's your first executive action? Well, my first priority, which will be probably a, the, the package of bills, is about bringing down the cost of living. So it's about housing. It's about child care. It's about what we need to do to deal with grocery prices. So the, it's not one, but it's a package um, that is with one singular purpose, bringing down the cost of living. Day one, what's your... I think day one should be the border. It's interesting. It's interesting that uh, on 60 Minutes, he criticized her plan and said it's never going to pass. And she's still harping on that. And she's yet to say how she plans to enact her plan. But they got mad at Trump for saying he has concepts. But I thought you weren't going to do anything different than Joe Biden. So grocery prices yeah. are going to stay the same. The same. Okay. Joe Biden's comments were the direct result of... Kamala's decision to portray everyone who isn't voting for her, which is a hell of a lot of people, <laughs> as evil and subhuman. Can you believe that? Evil. And we're evil and subhuman. <clears throat> and we know it's what they believe because look at how they've treated you. They've treated you like garbage. Look on the border. Look at New Mexico. With well, You have the worst problem probably in the whole country. They're flowing in like you're, like you're a federal highway they're flowing into your state at levels that nobody else has to see. For the past nine years, Kamala and her party have called us racist, bigots, fascists, deplorables, irredeemables, Nazis. And they called me Hitler. I'm Hitler. That's what they say. <laughs> they've bullied you. They've demeaned you. They've demonized us. <laughs> they've censored us, deplatformed us and weaponize the power of our government against their political opponent, me. Wow. I mean, how can you argue with any of that? I mean, that's what they said. He was saying the facts okay. right there. None of that was even opinionated. I seen, like... Uh, LeBron, well, LeBron. You might as well like, show the LeBron video uh, after that. Nah, we can get into let's that next. See it. But hold on, though. No, let's get into In it right same now. Breath, how can Kamala say she wants the country to be united? But then say one side is garbage and Nazi. Well, she Fascist. didn't say that. 
<laughs> she didn't say that. Okay, she well, called she, him she calls Joe Nazis. She Joe, calls him a she racist. Yeah, yeah, so the, how are we supposed to be united? If y'all are Nazi followers. You know, I've, 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 ne- I've never seen Trump demean anybody that votes for Kamala. He just demeans Kamala and He Joe. just calls him a little dumb. He yeah, says some of them are dumb. Uh, he th- he's, talking about, he's talking about Kamala and them. Um, he's talking about they, they squad of people. All y'all dumb and stupid. And y'all, <laughs> he said, y'all stink. He said yeah. they're not the smartest. He just said that in the He video. just said it, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, that's... That, that, I was gonna say that might well, be something I mean, that's I mean, I mean, <laughs> hold, on, hold on, but, hold on. To his defense, there is a study. If you Google it, if you idolize celebrities, you are dumb. That is a fact. You are more likely or more, yeah. more yeah, percentage to be dumb. And though, the too. Democrat Party is running off of celebrity endorsements and speeches from celebrities. So therefore, you may dumb, not be dumb. the brightest. <laughs> I mean, no. That's I based think, on science. I think what he's saying is facts. That's based on science. I think what he's saying is facts. Don't get mad at me. That's well, so science. What Joe Biden basically said is not facts. Not everybody's garbage. But I, I mean, I don't know. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think it's garbage. Not everybody's to, garbage on the left either. You I, don't know, I, don't I don't think it's don't garbage know. to think that you don't want illegals in your country and you want a safer place and cheaper, well, apparently it is. affordable and, life and, in America. And we gotta be real. I mean, well, they're both been president. I can't say Joe Biden's the current president right now saying both people that si- vote Republican are is the sitting garbage. president. Garbage. Yeah, yeah like, can't that, that might be worse. Can't. But uh, Trump didn't do that whenever, even whenever he lost. Oh, what? Trump got, he could say so oh. much stuff. When he lost, he didn't say that. Oh, he yeah. didn't say that. Yeah, he could say so much stuff about the other side. I feel yeah. like that would make yeah. them scream. Oh, no, I think the campaign's doing good. They're humanizing these, you know, Vivek and all them with the trash can stuff. That shit was hilarious, man. That shit was so about Vivek is a character. He did a whole, he did a Vivek, whole shift. <laughs> he got, he got out there. He bro, did. I seen liberals saying some racist stuff to him about that. Vivek? Oh, it's bad. Bro, I'm telling you, them liberals, liberals are racist, racist, bro. <laughs> liberals, them liberals are <laughs> racist. No, they yes. said so. They said some crazy. I don't care. What they, the said. they said some crazy. And you know what? Talk. I used to say it was that. Like, like, yeah, I'm they, sorry. They was like, I'll tell you. I, I, they said, <laughs> you all here pretending to clean up the streets. You can't even go clean up like your dirty home country of India. Ooh. I said, whoa. Damn. Wow. I remember I used to think that like America didn't have really that many racist people. And then Vivek, on well, the interview with Vivek, he was talking about how the left is so racist and like the things they do. And that's when I was like, damn. Here it is. on the left. This is, this is, this is by our boy, black he conservative. Hiding. The is hiding. He quoted it. They said, the ironic thing about this at Vivek G. Ramaswamy is you're a wealthy man here in my country. He refuses to go clean up your slums in your country, India. I guess you didn't understand what Ann Coulter told you on live TV about not being accepted by her people. Is that not the same thing as the Puerto Rico island? That is insane. That is the exact same thing. <laughs> Y'all gonna cry about that? That was insane. That's the same Let's thing. Let's get on LeBron ass, man. Well, I heard that's what he crying well, about. Please. Everybody keep forgetting. Black people don't know how to use computers or get IDs. Kamala can't control her rallies. That means she can't run the country. To me, point blank period. Everybody in Trump's rallies respects him. And when he says, hey, y'all, I got something to say, everybody be quiet. Yeah, but why don't the protesters go to Trump's rally? We know why. Because he ain't killing Kamala. (laughs) It was under her administration. She signed off on foreign bills. It's almost like Trump didn't cause any wars and then someone else did. That's what it's almost like happened. I think I just know. I just think people know tonight. Don't even play with Trump's supporters, man. No, no that, too. I don't know. I, I ain't gonna. They, I ain't gonna say uh, all that now. Yeah, I ain't gonna they say all that because uh, I ain't no. I ain't saying they bad nah, or nothing. Nah, I'm just nah, saying. I'm just saying. But like on. at the same time, though, I mean, nah, I don't think that's the reason, bro. What did What did Trump do to make people mad as hell? What did he do besides say? The black ones in the back. <laughs> Besides that, he ain't caused no wars. He ain't hurt nobody pockets. He ain't do nothing crazy. Facts. So uh, he ain't got no. Yeah, guys, let's know what y'all think. Though. We gonna 